I know you wrote that essay where you talked about how you believe that this is an inflection point because of the speed of science and the speed of knowledge. And now we're talking about a world of generative AI. You've, of course, just done an acquisition of a Google DeepMind company as well. Explain to me from a farmer perspective, I mean, where are we at in terms of using generative AI and what could that potentially mean over the next few years from a discovery and development perspective? Well, from a discovery and development perspective, it's very early days. But the opportunity would be, could AI help us understand the mysteries within the human body? So if you think about it, estimates would say we only understand 5 to 10 percent of what's happening in the 40 trillion cells oh, that are in you mm -hmm. and me as to how they react with one another, how do the systems and biology work. Could AI help us understand that more quickly? And then when we try to design a drug to impact one of those processes in the body, could we design the drug even better with AI? Those are the kinds of questions we're asking with isomorphic labs, the partnership we struck with the mm. Google DeepMind company, Microsoft Research Labs, we also have a partnership with Palantir. All of these are trying to explore that idea if can we make fundamental discoveries more quickly and then translate them into medicines that hopefully get through the clinic at a higher rate than what we currently see? The truth is that we won't know for seven to ten years because, of so course, so it's still it, seven to ten years out. It, it's much, much farther away than I think the, the hype cycle would tell you. <laughs> simply because, we, just because you find something, we won't know until it gets to phase two, three yeah. clinical trials whether it really works. So what do you make of the hype cycle, as you called it, as far as generative AI is concerned? Because, I mean, it's, it's sort of almost like this magic wand, silver bullet that's going to solve all of humanity's problems. How do you see it? I think the truth is in the middle. I think, I think in some places, like productivity, I think this will allow our people to focus on much more complex problems. I think it can simplify the ways we work, make things much more efficient mm. in an operation like ours. I think when we get to much more complex, fundamental, scientific questions, I think we should probably be measured and humble as to how this will actually unfold. I think it will help us. I'm not yet convinced it will lead to a complete breakthrough, uh, at least not in its current form. Now, the question is, over time, mm. if we invest and we teach these systems how to understand biology 10 years from now, 15 years from now, could it change things? Absolutely. And I think that's why companies like us have to invest in these AI models. Make informed decisions with comprehensive analysis on the go. Strengthen your portfolio with real-time market updates on the go. Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinions on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV18. Now streaming live 24-7 on YouTube.